Wangige Market in Kabete, Kiambu County is a market full of activities. Traders doing what they do best. Everything looks normal, but there is an issue within this market. The presence of mentally challenged persons. In the farthest end of the market is a rectangular tin thatched shanty fully decorated with beauty accessories. This shanty belongs to Timo Dimbogwa, also known as Muthiomori. It acts as his business place and also a place where he grooms, feeds and also counsels the mentally challenged persons. Taking care of the mentally challenged is Mbogwa's calling because he himself got helped when he needed it so much. Mbogwa was a medical student in Russia and his ambitions came tumbling down when he got ill. Mbogwa was mentally challenged for years, came back home and got help. Okay? We visit Mbogwa at his workplace and he is attending to David Njoguna, a mentally challenged man from Wangige. David has been ill for many years and Timothy Mbogwa and Dr. Kosma Kaburu Mutundo intervened. Although David looks don't reveal much, he was born in 1963. I'm about to go away. You're about to go away? Yes. Okay. Older for? Your education? Just from four. From four? Yes. I've been doing this since uh, 2010. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So since 2010 I've been doing that and uh, he's not alone. Mm -hmm. uh, we have over 100 people here mm -hmm. that we take care of. Even though David's situation is improving, his uncle Peter Karanja is a worried man. It's not Njoguna alone who is under Bogwa's care. Meet Brian Chege. Chege was born healthy and kicking, but a car accident at the age of nine brought about challenges in his life. Since then, Chege has been battling mental illness. Chege has a vision to work and improve his life. <laughs> Nikafanya KCP Sasa Siku Nikamadiza Sude Sede and Rilimadiza Sude Siku Siku Pata Sude Siku Pata Sude Nirisinda Nikika Nyumbani Just like any other child Chege's mom means a lot to him He takes his mom's advice seriously Kuna kitu nataka kusoma, eh? sasa kama iyo mamangu, mimi na amini mamangu. Sasa siezi kata. Vira mamangu anasema, nakubali. Monica Wanjiro is Brian's confidant and she monitors his move and guides his aspirations. So, tunafuatilia kwa shule. Ndiyo tuone, wame mkubaria vinye yako. Ameenda, tukamuambia tuka ni vizuri afanya dressmaking. Kwa sababu ya mwenye alikuwa mejichagulia fanya catering. Na ile shida konayo, anoeza kanguka kwa moto. Meet Sarah Wangoi. His two sons are mentally challenged. Christopher Nganga and David Washaga got help from Timo Dimbogwa when they were in a bad state of health and they were taken to Madari Hospital in Nairobi County. I kutoka Sarah had a lot from negative village talk 
about her children. Si unajua watu ni watu. Mana sijui watu wanasema ni mzuri au baya, but watu wengine wao unajua ni baya. Mm. 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 Kwa sababu watu wengine mana huyo wasaga mana mpe petrol akunywe. Kama na na maona manasema tili ya police. Sasa mimi naenda police. Eh. Na mulisa kama ni mtoto yako umfanya ni manayu ni musuri. Manasema ya da polisi. Sasa nita ngana ye. Hakuna gufu ya kumengana ye. Badu teberea bati tutaeda sandi. Nikuwa agalia. And when sandi came, she made her promise real. Visiting her sons who were doing great after being placed under medication. Meet Charles Masharia Thairo who is doing great health-wise after years and years of battling mental illness. Timothy Mbogwa and Dr. Kaburu intervened and placed him under care. Niko sawa. Niko mkonjo lakini mepona. Dio. Charles Masharia is a happy and a thankful man since his recovery and he has some advice to those who hide mentally challenged persons. Mama umelie. Mwana kwa kutaidhikira to mudu aithoti wega igimera meige umwirigira wale mwathani mudu ni ahonaga ina matiga kwe goro Timothy Mbogwa is a household name and his initiative is well known by many and this is affirmed by nyumba kumi chairman James Mungai Kangunjo long since uh, Mashari has been sick and Mashari is known here in fact it look different now he has had a problem with schizophrenia. So the work is difficult because some parents are so abusive to their parents or to Mr. Mungwa or whenever he, is, he comes to rehabilitate the kids. But they also them, they cannot talk to anybody else except Mungwa. I don't know what he terms them with. He has done a lot of work. He has come from far. Hapa likuwa narara ukuinje. Na wakati recover through people helping him. Alikuwa hii watu wa bemba, kuwa hii kama wala watu wa marikitua na bemba mezigo. Na kisasa the way he is, he don't want others to suffer like he has suffered. That's why he has frontier day and night to see these people have recovered. The, we appreciate about his work. We head south of the market. This side of the market is busy. Second hand clothes and other garments are on sale. In between the iron thatched structures, it's a little hiding place, which is home to Abdul. Abdul has a mental illness. Timothy and Dr. Kaburu check on him now and then. Iko mzuri? Abdul? Iko mzuri? Wewe ni Abdul ama ni... Wacha kukuliza. Wewe ni Abdul ama ni Zakaria? Abdul. Abdul. Zakaria ni nani? Me be so, to be treated free. Who can do it? There is no background. You understand? No so card. what? No identity card. No what? So we help what we can. For example, in this case, we make sure that he's clean. We make sure that he's eating. We make sure that when he has uh, something, he had medications. We head down to the core of Mutomo village and reach at Paul's residence. A wooden house down the hill. Paul comes out and he looks unkempt. He is in a lot of pain. Paul was mentally ill and his ups and downs during his illness might have caused him an injury that infected his leg. Now Timo Dimbogwa and Dr. Kaburu are working so hard to prepare him mentally because medics say his leg should be amputated. Mugu. Ikona sida. Ikona teni. Yan teni yana go. And we we make sure that every every time we have seen him, we make sure that at least we have encouraged him. There is still hope. Eh, uyu kijana, kuna mama arimleta hapa, akam 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 dump hapa, na akaenda. Na siku wana namda kwa sababu alimdampu alafu akahepa Na siku wana nalia yeyote ya vile alikuwa nafanya Lakini wakati alimdampu 
nikasema mimi nitamchukua tu kama mwana, mwana, mwanangu na nikasema nitakaa na yeye mpaka nione file tu Mungu ata, a, anataka anataka juu ya maisha yake apart from medication the mentally ill persons receive therapy the aroma therapy he has nobody to look for he can't turn to mother the mother died the father died the brother died he only have one sister and the sister is uh, far from here yeah and he is not well up also psychologically yeah uh, about this group we felt like uh, there are so many mentally ill patients around here some are because of the drugs some are maybe from homes right and so, so many things that give them depression Timo Dimbogwa also known as Muthiomori has won many hearts within Wangege Dr Cosmas contribution too is changing lives the team is working wholeheartedly to bring a smile to the despairing in the society Reporting for Ebru TV, I'm Kaindo Stefano.